Hi, I'm Matt Fans, and today we are going to be looking at a geological data source. And if you type in One Geology into Google, then we will be able to find this website. And this is an initiative that I've just been put onto by a colleague of mine. So thanks a lot, Grace, for alerting me to this. Looks like a fantastic data source. And you can see in the text that they have progressed rapidly towards their target of creating a dynamic geological map. Uh, of the world geology data. So without further ado, let's go to the One Geology portal and have a quick look at what this looks like. Obviously in your own time, uh, go through the website, get a, a good idea of how the data works and what exactly is on here. But for now, if we just click on the portal, here we go. Now I'm zoomed in at the moment, uh, if we zoom right out, we can see that there are geological layers for the globe. Wow, good stuff. And we've got the usual controls. We have the pan up here so that we can pan around. And we've got the zoom controls. So I'm just gonna zoom in to this area of Africa. Down in the bottom right, we can see which layers are loading. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer. and it looks pretty well detailed. This is very good. So up on the top here, if we go for our layers and click on this, we can see which layers are currently present. And down here we have the one to 10,000 CGMW BLGM. Uh, let's have a look. If we click this down arrow, it will tell us exactly what this data source is about. So 1 to 10,000, uh, Geological Map of Africa, 3rd edition. We've got lots of good metadata, all the abstracts. And at the bottom, you can see a service URL. Now, I want to show you what the service URL does because it's quite cool. We can bring this into our own QGIS project as a WMS, which stands for Web Map Service. So if I click on that, you can see we get a URL. Now with this URL, I am going to copy it and then we are going to open up QGIS and see what it does. So I'll just highlight that, Control C, and then let's go over to Q. So here I've got QGIS open and we're on version 2.18.7. If you are on an earlier version, don't worry too much about it. Uh, things might look a little bit different but they are usually quite easy to find. Now, what we're trying to do here is add a WMS layer. And you may be used to adding a vector layer, adding a raster layer. Down here, we have add WMS or WMTS layer. And if we click on this, it will ask us to add layers from a WMS server. Now, currently, servers attached. There's nothing in here. I am going to add a new one. And don't forget we have our one geology layer. We've got the service URL. I've copied that and I can paste it at will. So let's just have a quick look again at the service title. This is one to 10,000 geological map of Africa. So if I go back to Q, I'm going to call it geological map of Africa. And the URL is going to be what we have copied. So I'm just going to control and V that in. We're going to lose the question mark at the end and just put that one in. And we're going to OK that. So let's try and connect to it see what happens and here we go we have an awful lot of layers that we can add and we do get the abstract as well so this abstract looks pretty good let's add that layer see what happens now as soon as we add that layer we can see in our layers panel we have a new legend loaded which is pretty cool. Let's have a look what's going on in the background. 
And there it is. So that's our WMS layer, the geological map of Africa. Let's add a few more of these actually and see what happens. So let's expand the title a little bit. We have got the Oceanic Plateau and let's go for the Oceanic Crust Domain as well. I'll just press Ctrl and then click on these and we can add both at once. Hit add there. And now we have two more layers in our map. You could see that our table of contents updated as did the map in the background. So I'll just close out of our connection and then let's have a look at these. Oh, we've only got one layer in actually. May have to do those individually rather than using control. So let's zoom back in. We have got, what do we have here? We've got the oceanic crust and the oceanic domain and I'll just run through it one more time of how to add another one so our WMS layer add and then I'm going to connect you can see we've got the option to connect to our geological map of Africa and so that was oceanic domain let's go for the plateau we'll add that in as well close out of this and there's our plateau Zoom out a little bit, Ooh, way too far. And we have all three layers in at once. So you can use these to, to build your own maps. Uh, we do have a little problem here with the legends and the size of them. So let's go back to One Geology and see how we can get those legends to use in any outputs. So I'm back in the browser now and we've got our active layers and properties loaded up uh, we can see that it's the AFR CGMW BRGM and at the bottom we've got our service URL and there's also a button for the legend so that big legend that wouldn't fit into QGIS if we press the legend button it pops up for us in a little pop-up window and here we can see the whole legend now of course you might want to use this in your own project in which case you can simply right click and you could save the image as and that will save a copy to your local machine or if you just wanted to have a look at it uh, in the browser you can just go to view image and there's the whole thing so very quick look at how WMS works and this awesome awesome data set put together by One Geology so hope you enjoyed that and if you did please do not forget to subscribe Give us a thumbs up and if you've got any more data sets or you're looking for something, get in touch via the comments and we'll help you out. Alright, happy mapping.